Hey, it's Patrick from Moto, and let's talk tuning, specifically auto-tune and target tune from DinoJet. And there's a lot of misconceptions. Uh, I know what that auto-tune stuff is. What? That's like the thing with the voice, right? Make it all sound like... La, la, la. No. Yeah, that's the tuny tune thing, like the guy on Facebook told me. He told me how to do all that, man. Dude. It's like that GPS, right? It just always knows where you're going? No. That's the thing that uh, drives your bike for you, right? It's like cruise control for your mind. No, it won't drive your bike for you. Yeah, it's that uh, thing where you never run out of gas, right? Yeah, yeah. I know that. A dude on the internet told me. So as you can see, there can be a lot of confusion out there about what auto-tune is and how it works. So in this video, we're going to go over DinoJet's Auto-Tune Basic, Auto-Tune Pro, and Target Tune. But first, there's some terminology we should probably get out of the way so everybody's on the same page. Let's talk a little bit about the stock system and how it works. The stock HD Delphi ECM is a speed density system, meaning fuel delivery is based on modeled airflow. It uses feedback from sensors like IAT, map sensors, engine temp, and RPM to predict the airflow mass that's entering the engine. It uses volumetric efficiency tables to model the airflow in the calibration, and it's continually adjusting for factors like altitude and temperature changes. Now, what does closed loop mean versus open loop? A closed loop system monitors and corrects air fuel mixtures using O2 sensors in the exhaust, and it corrects them back to what's been commanded in the cal calibration. So if, 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 you, if your calibration says maintain a 13.2 air fuel ratio, the closed loop system is constantly sniffing with O2 sensors in the exhaust, feeding that information back into the tuner, and it's making the correction to keep it at that 13.2 air fuel ratio, or whatever the commanded mixture is in the calibration. However, it should be noted that your stock closed loop system maintains the air fuel ratio at about 14.6 to 1. Most applications use short-term and long-term fuel trims. An open loop system does not use correction from O2 sensors. It relies specifically on the calibration that's been loaded into the ECM. Now it's worth noting that these DinoJet Auto-Tune tools are quite simply that, tools. And a lot of times they're only going to be as good as the person using them. So if you don't feel comfortable or confident using these tools, you might be better off making the trip to a DinoJet tuning center and getting your bike dialed in there. So let's talk about Auto-Tune Basic. If you have a power vision, you have Auto-Tune Basic. It's free, doesn't require any purchases for anything else, but it's only for use on, motors, on Harley Davidson models from 2007 to 2017, meaning bikes that have OEM closed loop fuel control and stock narrow band sensors. Auto-Tune Basic uses closed loop to populate tune corrections that could be exported back into your base tune. But it's very important to note that Auto-Tune Basic just uses the stock narrow band sensors in your bike. Narrow band sensors are only capable of sensing a very narrow range of air fuel from about 14.3 to 15.2. It's important to know that because generally you're going to want to tune outside those air fuel ranges. Auto-Tune Basic temporarily forces closed loop over the entire fuel range. This is best for populating corrections from light to moderate loads. As you can see, it's pretty easy to do. So Auto-Tune Pro. Auto-Tune Pro is for Harley-Davidson models from 2001 to 2017. It does require the purchase of the Auto-Tune Pro kit. It uses wideband O2 sensors and a controller that connects right to the power vision. And the wideband sensor sensors are very important because they can, like their name says, um, detect air fuel ratios from 10 to 1 to 18 to 1. Very wide. It works in conjunction with your power vision to read and store real-time air fuel ratios while you're riding your bike around you know, on, off the throttle, I'll have different loads on the bike, so on and so forth, it reads those air fuels and stores them. So Auto-Tune Pro isn't closed loop, it is open loop, but while you're riding around, it's using those wideband sensors um, to sense what the air fuel ratios are and what corrections need to be made at different RPMs and throttle positions while you're riding the motorcycle. Those corrections can then be exported back into the base tune of your power vision. So while you've been riding around, it's been sensing what changes need to be made to get back to the commanded air fuel ratio. So the commanded air fuel ratio is default set in the Auto-Tune Pro at 13 to 1. So while you're riding around, it's saying, oh, well, right here in this throttle position range, we're at 14.7, we're too lean, we need to richen it up. But down here, we're a little bit fat, we're at 12.5, we need to lean it out to get back to that 
that 13 to 1. So after, after the end of that, it saves that, you can export that back into your base map. So essentially by riding around with the AutoTune Pro, it's building a map based on the commanded air fuel while you're riding around. So after your ride's done, you can take that map that's been built using the air fuel sensors and the module and load it back into the PowerVision as your new base map. Now, it's important to note that it does require that those wideband air fuel sensors be put into the exhaust. Most aftermarket exhausts nowadays have O2 sensor bungs built right into the pipe, but if for some reason yours doesn't, they would have to be added so you can put the wideband O2s into the exhaust. So a couple of tips for you. When running AutoTune, we recommend three different 20 minute riding sessions. And make sure you mix it up. Make sure you're in some like traffic, you're doing some sustained highway speeds. You're gonna want to put that thing in a different, as many different throttle positions and RPM ranges as you can so it has the best chance to learn. Between each session, export your learn correction and then re-enable auto-tune. So on your second session, you're gonna be wanting to run your auto-tune based off the corrections made from your first writing session. And then again, in the third session, you're gonna to wanna to run auto-tune based off the corrections made from your second session. So you're constantly running auto-tune on those corrected sessions so your map's getting sharper and sharper. You can do these sessions on different days, just make sure to flash your non-auto-tune map. Don't just disable the auto-tune. So it's worth noting that the bike may run a little funky in auto-tune mode during warm-up, so it's probably best to get the bike warmed up then enable auto-tune mode. The default settings in Autotune are for a big twin. If you have a Sportster or a B-Rod, you're going to want to go into the Autotune settings and adjust the min-max for engine temp and RPM. So it's also helpful to set the min-map pressure in all applications. This prevents overcorrection of the tune in light load and decel areas. The easiest way is to start the bike, then go to the green Autotune Historogram screen. You will note the live idle map pressure which is displayed in the upper left hand corner. You will then go back to the Autotune settings screen, select min map and enter a value approximately 5 kPa lower than the map your bike was idling at. For example, if your bike was idling at 38 kPa, you will enter 33 under min map. So what is Target Tune? Target Tune is a real-time closed loop system for 2007 to 17 Harley Davidson models and does require the purchase of the Target Tune kit. It uses wideband O2 sim sensors similar to AutoTune Pro. So Target Tune transforms your stock ECM to be able to read the new wideband O2 sensors and then configures them to work with the closed loop fuel strategy already in your Delphi ECM. Once flashed, the Target Tune operates in a real time closed loop, meaning it's constantly sensing and making changes and keeping the bike on that target air fuel range. So if you ride up a mountain or ride down a mountain, and conditions change, it's constantly sensing and making the changes to keep it on that target air fuel ratio. One of the great things about the Target Tune closed loop system versus your stock closed loop system is it allows you to run closed loop at any air fuel ratio, not just the 14.6 that your stock system is set at. So the air fuel ratios in Target Tune Pro can be set up in the WinPV software and all the normal tuning parameters that are available to you are still available in the WinPV software. Target Tune Auto Tune Motor allows you to generate corrections just like in the Auto Tune Basic and Auto Tune Pro and apply them back to your base map. It uses the same air fuel ratios that are set in your base map. Hope we help shed some light on Auto Tune slash Target Tune from DinoJet. As always, if you guys have any questions or comments, please comment in the comment section below. You can always get a hold of us at 920 423 3309. We'd love to talk to you guys. And as always, check us out at fuelmotousa.com. Now, go ride your motorcycle.